Uh, hi, Luca. Welcome to Nice Sports. Uh, Luca, last couple of months has been fantastic for you. Winning the winning back-to-back I League titles, you won the I League Player of the Season. You were that also the top scorer in the I League. So, how would you sum up your performance? Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, amazing two years. Uh, uh, last two seasons. Um, I, I'm happy that uh, I had I had last season. I had an amazing season, amazing results. But uh, I uh, I was curious if I can upgrade uh, this season the results, uh, and I did. So I'm very happy with the performance of the full team, full club, the results, my personal achievements also. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy. And uh, Luka, Ranglas Punjabs are the elite champions. So, how do you see the the entire season? Twenty two matches, sixteen wins, and only two losses. So, how would you assess the team performance? Uh, I think uh, team performance. Uh, I don't have to explain too much because uh, the table uh, said it all. Um, yeah. Uh, Personally, I enjoyed uh, playing with this team under this uh, under our coach. Uh, I think uh, the beginning uh, we were still getting used to each other, but we were keeping uh, positive results. We were winning the games. Uh, yeah, full season we only got two two uh, defeats, but uh, we showed that even after defeat we didn't. Uh, we didn't let the defeat uh, bring us down. Uh, uh, we reacted immediately next game. And uh, yeah, it was almost a perfect season. Uh, uh, Luca, now Ranglas Punjab are playing at the Hero Sup- uh, Super Cup. Uh, Ranglas uh, Punjab lost the first match against Kerala Blaster by 1-3. And the team could have done better. Uh, on few chances, what lack in the in, uh, in the match against Kerala for the round glass? What do you think? Uh, yeah, we uh, we all agree in the team uh, in the squad that uh, we had our chances that uh, the result would be different at some uh, point uh, of the game. I think we we were also attacking attacking for two two. Uh, in the end, it was three one. Um, I think we were pretty competitive. Uh, we did some uh, uh, mistakes that cost us, uh, which may be uh, in I League uh, during the, the the previous season uh, didn't affect the game, uh, didn't cost us so much as this game. So we need to improve that. Uh, but uh, the the difference is. Uh, we need more of this kind of games. Uh, we are new uh, to uh, not just this uh, hero super competition, but we will be new uh, in the ISL. Uh, the teams, uh, 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 I mean, they they are more experienced. Uh, every mistake you make, uh, they they uh, they can score. So I think with every difficult game that we will have. Uh, we will grow as a team, grow as uh, individuals, uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, and look at tomorrow, the team will play against Bangalore FC. So, what is your expectation, and how's the team mindset about this match? Uh, yeah, uh, we all follow uh, ISL teams. Uh, we all know uh, what kind of team. What kind of club is uh, Luru FC? What kind of players uh, in the squad? Uh, but uh, after this game, uh, we have to go all out these next two games. Uh, we will have our tactics. We saw also uh, where we made mistakes, where we did good uh, on the previous match. We will prepare accordingly and... Uh, I think it will be a very nice competitive uh, match. And uh, Round Glass Punjab is now promoted to the ISL for next season. So, how excited are you to play the ISL and how team is preparing for the ISL pace? 
uh, as a club, uh, uh, we can all feel that uh, we are slowly uh, stepping up uh, uh, on, on this ladder. Uh, the club is uh, trying to upgrade on every level, uh, every aspect uh, of the, the whole club. But as a team, uh, we are taking also this uh, Super Cup as a preparation to see, to see where our weaknesses are, to see how far or how close we are uh, with uh, ISL teams. I think we, we, we got a group with two very good SL teams, so we can, uh, so we can see and uh, make changes uh, where we need to make them. Uh, uh, so yeah, I think Super Cup will be the first, uh, the first showcase where we are standing. Uh, and then yeah, I think the uh, break will be uh, the break between seasons will be uh, the time that uh, club will uh, will do the adjustments. Okay, and how different was playing this season in front of the fans compared to last season behind closed door in uh, neutralized venue? Uh, yeah, uh, we were all happy to see the fans uh, again, uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a change. Uh, it's a change uh, when you're playing at home in front of your fans, uh, when you get that extra boost, extra motivation. On the match, uh, even when you go out, uh, maybe they boo you a little. Uh, that uh, puts a fire in you, also a little extra. So uh, we we all enjoyed. I enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, we're we're happy that uh, finally is, everything is open again. Okay, and uh, uh, Luca, what are your thoughts on head coach Tycho's Vergatis and his philosophy, brand of football? team management and also how he has managed to make the round glass Punjab become what it has achieved this season. Yeah, my thoughts about him, uh, I mean, uh, uh, want to use any words so the, the team won't uh, make fun of me. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> all the best. We think uh, all the best about the uh, uh, the coach, uh, I think his calmness was also one of the things that uh, in some situations when we had uh, worse games than usually or when we lost, he, he kept the team under control, uh, kept cool head. Uh, and this translated also on the pitch. Uh, he likes to play... Uh, a game with a lot of passing, uh, playing style, not long balls. So as a, one of the one of the players, I also enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, uh, I think uh, showed uh, his character and everything on the pitch uh, uh, and in the play style, in the team results, on the table in the end. So yeah, all all the best. And uh, Luca, you have been playing in, in India since 2020, if I'm not, uh, not wrong. You played for Chelsea uh, Brothers, Bangalore United, Gokulam, Kerala, and now for Rong Las Punjab. So how has been the journey so far for you? It's been great. It's been great. Um, even first year when I played for Chelsea Brothers, I was very close to the title. But we lost... Uh, in the last game, uh, lost the title uh, against Gokulam. Uh, so I w we were pretty sad. Uh, so, but I, I didn't expect when I returned to India that uh, I will experience such good results, such good teams, uh, even off the off the field, uh, all the people I met, all the teammates, uh, person personnel in the club. Everyone is full of love. Uh, everyone uh, um, is nice to me, so I'm I'm really enjoying. Uh, and I think this is also part of the uh, part of this uh, results that I'm getting. Uh, I feel good uh, in India, uh, and this is translating also on the pitch. Okay, and uh, Lucas Slovenia. Will play against Finland, Denmark, Northern Ireland, San Marino in the UEFA Euro Cup qualifier. So, 
what do you think their chances to qualify for the euro cup 2024 and what's your thoughts on this and how do you look up to make a senior debut for slovenia um yeah i mean um i think uh, slovenia uh, as a country has at the moment uh, has a right uh, mixture of uh, of uh, older experience and young uh, players uh, now they are getting uh, in the last few games they are getting some pretty positive results um uh, which the full country can can see and can feel um yeah it's always it's always uh, we are pretty small country not pretty small we are a very, very small country so every uh result every uh, qualifications uh, for for these big tournaments uh, mean a lot uh, we had few uh, but now for a while no so we are we can't wait to qualify again for some big tournament uh, and uh, to answer the question yeah i would love to i mean uh, when i was young my one of the goals was also to to have a a, a game for a country for a national team but uh, to tell you the truth i'm not expecting too much uh, uh because we have uh, some pretty pretty good uh strikers uh pretty good players all over the world all over Europe in the big leagues so uh it's uh it's very hard to to get into the squad okay and uh, luka uh, benjamin sesko is in brilliant form for Slo- slovenia and for his club he scored a 7 minute hat trick against rapid vienna he has a potential he has the pace he is 90 years old he has um, he is raw so how do you see his future for slovenia and manchester united will also looking for to sign him in the upcoming summer transfer window yeah uh, uh he is one of those players um, that is born on every i don't know how many years uh, um even now he is becoming uh, very young and even now he is becoming a leader on the pitch uh, he's becoming a superstar i think he will be one of the the big stars in uh, world football uh, that's why also uh, offers are coming for, from clubs such as manchester united for him uh, i think if he will uh, he will have also luck uh, on his side uh, uh, so he won't have any injuries uh, i think he will have a very very good uh, career and uh, luka which is your football favorite footballer of all time and why uh, that i i need to think about a little when i was young uh, <laughs> when i was young uh, like when i was starting uh, i loved uh, david beck uh and then when he was in manchester united then he changed the club and at that time when i was young it was uh for me it was like the end of the world so i stopped following a little <laughs> everything together <laughs> but uh now when i'm older and when you when you check back uh, all the legends that played all the players that played uh, i would have to say uh, the brazilian ronaldo is one of the best uh, strikers if not players that played the football for me personally okay and uh, uh, luka it's a uefa champions league week and uh, bayern munich will battle against manchester city uh, later in the night in the quarter final so how do you uh, how do you think who will be the upper hand in this match what do you think to tell you the truth uh, here uh, <laughs> here beside me is uh, my friend and roommate uh, Juan Mera uh this would be question for him uh because i always fall asleep when the matches are because they are too late for me uh <laughs> in uh in indian time but uh, hey, who you think uh the manchester city or I think it's going to be City has the upper hand. Is so, Juan Mera is uh, telling this telling us this this thing? Yes, he said he said City. He said City. 
Okay. And uh, Luca, uh, how crucial is to score for Arling Haaland in this match? He's in form of, uh, of his life. 30 goals in Premier League. He's also top scorer in this Champions League uh, with 10 goals. So, how would you assess his performance in the Premier League in all competition this season for Manchester City? Wow. Uh, it's, I mean, he's too good, no? The statistics, the, the goals he scored, uh, uh, I mean, it was in some way it was expected of him, but no one really believed that someone can do this and make it so easy on, on that uh, level. Uh, and he's doing it uh, every game. I think he's breaking uh, Premier League records all the records so uh, yeah i i think this is his season mm, he he's uh, he has a very very good season okay and uh, if one thing uh, you want to learn from alin haland as a striker so what uh, it would be for you one thing if you want to learn one thing from alin haland mm, i think uh, i mean yes yeah, i would like to 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 learn how to jump so high and uh, <laughs> the bicycle kick, but uh, I think his uh, his uh, feeling for 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 space, for attacking the empty space behind the 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 defenses is uh, of this world. So this is something that uh, I would love to 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 take from him. Okay, last couple of questions, Luca. Uh, tomorrow night, the also 14 times champion Real Madrid will take on Chelsea. So, who do you think the upper hand in this match? Chelsea or Real Madrid? This I have to say Real Madrid because uh, uh, Real Madrid I'm playing. When we play FIFA, this is the only club uh, that uh, I take. Uh, so, uh, when this kind of matches come, I don't even choose. Uh, I say Real Madrid. And uh, one last question. And who do you think will win the Premier League this time, Arsenal or Manchester City? It's a very close title race this time. Uh, how many more matches it is? Not more than I think ten, eight to ten matches. I think. And what's the what's the uh, uh, the uh, Arsenal is first, but how many points uh, is the cut? Arsenal are six points ahead from Manchester City. Yeah, I mean, on, on that level, on that level, uh, six points is is a lot, uh, especially how how they are playing this season. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, on on one side, I would be happy for Arsenal because we all know how what kind of problems they have every season and uh, uh, and with winning the trophies. Uh, but uh, I think uh, it will be it, it's still open. You can never, you can never be uh, too too sure uh, when you have uh, behind you Manchester City. So I think everything is open. Okay, and thank you so much, Luca, for your time and all the best for the tomorrow's game and all the best for the future and the uh, Hero Super Cup. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Luca.